Today we are talking about doorbells and how we're going to be installing a doorbell into this unit right here. Before I get into it, do give me a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more videos, leave a comment. I read all your comments and I do make these videos uh, for you guys to learn how to do things uh, yourself, your own home repairs. And if your friends have any questions, if they need any help, do send them my videos. I'm sure it will help a lot. Check out the channel. I've got heaps there. And without, with that out of the way, I think we will get straight into doing this uh, project. Now, in most apartments, in most Singapore households, it comes with a doorbell button on the, on the outside. Now, there's, an, 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 there's a misconception that there's power running because you see a switch. People usually think that there's power running through this uh, doorbell system, but it doesn't, okay? It's merely a switch and two wires that connect to the interior of the house. You can get one of these at uh, a hardware store. This is an analog uh, doorbell, so it's really a chime. It has two metal plates and it makes a, ding, a sound like that. Or you can get one of those digital doorbells um, which, you know, plays a, plays a tune when someone rings the doorbell. It costs about uh, $20-$30 a piece. But it's really simple to install. And let's go inside. So here we are in the kitchen. The doorbell point is right up there. Most houses uh, in Singapore, the, the developer or HDB will install the doorbell point somewhere in the kitchen and it's usually high up. So as mentioned, there's no power running through the, um, the doorbell point. If you want, you can use the test pen to test if the wires are live, but it's highly unlikely. There are no, um, there's no blue brown wire, it's just two uh, wires of the same color. So orientation does not really matter. What you want to do is wire that up to your doorbell and uh, put in a battery and it should run. Now over here we have the doorbell point and you can tell that it's a doorbell point because obviously it says bell point. Any other ones might be a power point but usually this is the bell point. It's just a round hole and the doorbell is going to be up here. So I'm going to take out the screws and I'll show you what's on the inside. Pulled it out. So there's a, a whole length of wires uh, inside here. There's only two wires and both of them are white. There's no polarity, there's no live, there's no neutral because as I mentioned before, this connects all the way out to the front door and uh, to the door switch. It's just a switch which connects the wires together. There are no, there's no live, uh, live current flowing through this. It relies on a battery inside the doorbell. So all you need to do is to, um, to find out which are the terminals on the doorbell that these wires connect to and I'll show you how to do that. Right, so when you get your doorbell, it comes in a casing. You just pull that apart. It's a small clip. Take out the, that thing. And then this particular doorbell runs off a 9 volt battery. So I've got a 9 volt battery here. I'm going to be putting that in. And just put the battery into its case. There we go. And then, and then you come in with a pair of uh, pliers. And what you want to do is you just touch the terminals like that. So if you're touching like that, you hear, there's no, s yep, you got sound there. If you're doing this, there's nothing. If you're doing that, there's nothing. Doing this. So now you know that the wires should connect these two terminals together. Okay, so I've got the bell. I'm going to put all these wires back in for now while I fix up the doorbell. So we have the doorbell here. And it's non-structural, so 
I'm happy just using one screw. You can use two if you want, but I think one screw is more than sufficient. Okay, I, may, I might make it a bit higher. Here we go. So, this is a good point. Right there. Okay, so I'm marking my drill point up there, and I think one screw is more than enough to hold the uh, the doorbell in place. You know, I don't want to be drilling too many screws, uh, too many holes into the wall. You know. Okay. This, my friends, is a tile bit. You have this. This is a masonry bit. This won't work. If you use this, you're going to cut and crack your tiles. And this is a high-speed steel drill bit. This also will not be able to puncture this. So what you want to do, go down to your local hardware store, get yourself one of this. Put it into a drill. You do not need a hammer function in your drill. You just want to go regular drill. Okay? And put it there. I think what I'm going to do is I'll show you a neat little trick. Okay. What I personally like to do when I'm drilling is I grab a wet a wad of uh, wet tissue and I kind of build a little thing right below the there. This catches all my you know, all the dust that's going to be dripping down. So, put your drill in and start. You can start slow at first and then you go faster. There you go, it starts cutting. And there you go. See, all the the dust has been picked up by the uh, by the tissue paper, and you've got don't have much of a mess to worry about. Give that a wipe down. You already put the bell up. Yeah. Come in with your wall plug and tap that in. There we go. So uh, we don't need this connector here for this doorbell. Just remove that. I'm going to be pushing the ends of the these wires through the hole at the back of the doorbell and then stuff everything in and bring that up and put in the screw Okay, then, uh, as I mentioned, there's no polarity to the wires, so any wire can go into any one of these terminals. So we put that there first, we'll tighten that. And this one's over here, tighten that as well. Okay, you give the wires a tug and make sure they are secure. And most importantly, make sure they don't touch the chimes as well. And lastly, come back with your battery, hook everything together, put your battery in, 
and we'll do it, give it one final test. So, as I mentioned, um, there's no power running through the wires. These two wires go to the bell that's in front of the, of the main door. It closes the circuit and it's run off this battery. So if you activate the bell, it should work. You can ask a friend to go out to the uh, main door and try pressing the uh, doorbell and we'll see if it works. You want, you want to test? All right. So the doorbell works. We'll just put the cover back. Right. Whew. So there you go. That's how you uh, install a doorbell in a, in, a, in an apartment. So if you like that tip, do leave me a like, share and subscribe. And of course, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.